Gemini, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading regarding conversations. So what conversations might need to happen between you and another person from an individual perspective, from the respect of the connection or relationship, and then any deep feelings or emotions that are being held back. Okay, so the white cards are going to represent you. The black cards are going to represent whoever this person is. Of course, in a general reading, it might be reversed. So keep that in mind. All right. Put that right there. Okay, perfect. So let's take a look at what you both need to talk about when it comes to what's going on within you. So what is it that you need to share with this person? All right, <clears throat> we've got the strength card in the reverse. What is it that makes you feel vulnerable? Okay, you are not sharing with this person what makes you feel vulnerable. The only way that you can really fully connect with somebody is if you allow yourself to be vulnerable. So let's see what that's about for you. All right, so we've got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, what I'm getting from this particular reading is with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, you don't feel like the best version of yourself. Um, this person might might focus on negative qualities versus positive qualities when it comes to you. Um, that makes you feel, you know, that makes you feel vulnerable. You may not be very apt to share what you don't like about yourself and how you may want to fix it, correct it, or maybe you just want to be accepted flaws and all, okay? You may not be comfortable sharing your flaws with this person or talking about what you consider to be flaws within yourself, all right? What does this person need to talk about with you when it comes to themselves? Nine of Pentacles, okay. So this person tends to be very, very independent. Um, they might need a lot of room and space to do things that they enjoy in life. Maybe you enjoy those things too, and it works between the two of you. Uh, maybe you don't enjoy some of the activities that this person enjoys, and it creates kind of a separation. This person might need to talk about this. Let's get more information here. Nine of swords. So we've got a couple of nines here for this person. <clears throat> this person is very, very independent. This person really tends to, I feel like they worry about how the, they have been with you in the past and they worry whether or not they're going to get a chance in the future. This person is somebody that will point out your flaws and you feel very vulnerable about your flaws. So that doesn't really, that's something that needs to be discussed. Okay. So when it comes to the connection what is it that you need to talk about? All right, so we've got we've got the six of wands in the reverse. All right, you're not the most optimistic when it comes to this person or this connection for whatever reason. Um, you know, you're not necessarily, again, feeling like this person embraces the best version of you. And that is that is a problem for you. That needs to be discussed. What is it that this person needs to discuss when it comes to the connection? We've got the Hierophant. So, um, you know, this person might be a Taurus, okay? You might be dealing with a Taurus. Um, you know, I feel like this person, um, I feel like what you need to hear from this person is why their heart is committed to you. 
you know, I feel like between these, between these two guys down here, one of these guys represents this person's independent life. And one of these guys represents their, um, their commitment to the connection or the relationship. This person needs to express or talk about, <clears throat> talk about both. Talk about why their, their heart is committed to whatever activities or life they've designed on their own and how it balances with the connection or relationship with you. Let's get more information on the Six of Wands. Oh boy, Five of Cups. You are not in a positive space about this person. And if there's any chance of saving this, <clears throat> you need to share with them what you're feeling. Three of Cups spilled over. Um, you know, it's almost it almost feels like They've already had their three strikes with you and they're almost out if they're not already out. They've emotionally, you've been emotionally hurt by this person more than once. And I, I feel like this is because the two of you are very, very different people. You know, the connection is, I feel like still there, but it might be very buried because you're not really focused on this connection right now as much as you're focused on what hurt you within this connection. So let's get a card here. And we have lovers, that's your card, Gemini. This person needs to talk about why their bond with you is important to them, if they have any chance at all in saving this with you, okay? Um, that's very clear to me. All right, we've got, <clears throat> you know, we've got the, the two people here and we've got the two people here. And, you know, right in the middle, we have this angel, this divine angel. And right in the middle here, we have this, you know, divine person. So I feel like it's about this person connecting with, you know, who they are in the divine, their higher self. Their higher self would be handling this, I feel like, very differently than how this person handles um, this situation in reality. This person is very focused on wanting to compartmentalize pieces of their life that they don't share with you and pieces of their life that they do share with you. And I feel like you would say, you know what, it's just, it's not enough or it's not working, okay? Now, emotionally, underneath what's going on here for you, we have temperance. So, card of Sagittarius, you might be dealing with a Sag. You know, I feel like underneath it all, I feel like you have really suppressed or tempered a lot of the passion and emotion that you had for this person in order to deal with, you know, their... I, you know, I almost feel like their, um, their distaste for, for some of your flaws. This person is definitely looking and pointing out your flaws to you or at least to themselves. Um, you know, nobody can change anybody. So if this person is focused on changing you, that, as you know, doesn't work, Right. So you're tempering the emotions and passion that you might have had for this person at one time because it's hurtful. It tends to be hurtful. This person, okay, we've got Ace of Cups in the reverse. You know, um, I, I feel like it's kind of the, the same thing. You know, this person would have said at one point, Yes, I have a cup of love for you. And I feel like they still have that cup. But when it comes up in the reverse like that, it's like the cup is empty right now. Um, this person might need to, and I feel like this is your cup because this is your hand offering your cup of love. And now it's in the reverse. So this person has emotionally drained you 
that's what they need to acknowledge here. They may know they've done this. Okay, and you're you're holding these cups kind of midway in the card here. Like you're holding your cup of passion and your cup of emotion, and it's like you're going back and forth, but you're tempering it. You you know, you're not expressing the way you used to to this person because this person has essentially emptied your cup. And let's see, what do we have here for this hangman? This person is hung up on the fact that they know that they have done this. And that's what they would need to talk about with you in order to potentially fix this. For you, we have the magician. You would say it would take a miracle for this person to realize that they have all the tools in order to, to manifest something better than what the two of you are experiencing right now. Um, but it's like the, you would say this person would have to pull a, a rabbit out of a hat in order to repair this, I feel like. Okay, and I feel like this, you know, could go on many different levels of relationship or interest. Like this person really, this person might be very sarcastic with you. Okay, um, tease you, but not in a fun way, kind of in a mean way. Uh, this person, I feel like, either felt like they had you locked down, and this, you have given them clear indication that that's not the case, and they don't love that. They are definitely hung up on what they have emotionally drained from you. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see. Let's continue this with the oracle cards. What needs to be discussed? Okay, one for you, one for this person. One for you, one for this person. All right, so for you, love. Freedom. I, I feel like <laughs> you feel like love comes in the form of freedom and freedom from whatever restrictions this person has tried to place on you, freedom from any teasing or nagging um you feel like love comes from acceptance of me just as who i am and not from the desire to want to change me for this person we've got luminosity so that's light and guidance i feel like this person would say um that, let's read this one at the bottom here. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Um, <clears throat> and again, luminosity is light. So this is about following the light. I feel like you are the light that this person is trying to follow, but they're I don't feel like they're um, accepting the guidance that you have been trying to give them. Okay, here for freedom, it says, I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm getting for you. you for you, love represents freedom and freedom can represent love. For this person, <clears throat> light um, represents guidance for them. And when you are not feeling like the best version of yourself, your light kind of dims. Your, the temperance energy, tempering your passion and your emotion, it dims your light, right? So this person is acting out towards you because your light is, has been dimming from their perspective. 
and when your light is full and bright and shining through and the best version of you is coming out because you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable, you're allowing yourself to share who you truly are, that's how you are comfortable, you know, when you're in that best energy, this person follows that light. The reason this person is acting out towards you is because your light is dimming when it comes to this person, but it's it's a catch-22, right? So the more your light dims, the less this person, you know, feels that need to follow uh, the guidance, the wisdom that you have. The more this person constricts you, the less freedom you feel in a connection or relationship, the less love comes through you, through that light. That's what it is. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much. Bye.